Good morning guys, or more afternoon. I actually been to work. I was really, really tired this morning, so I took my kind of extra half an hour that I have at home uh, sleeping <laughs> instead of anything else. I just got up, got dressed out of the door because I really didn't have time with anything this morning. And then I worked and I'm actually really, really tired, but I can't really sleep. So instead I'm gonna make sure that I get something in my tummy and then I'm going to just fiddle around. I'm anticipating a nope day. I'm anticipating that if I actually try to do something because I am so tired, it's not gonna be done. Um, but I'm gonna try anyway. Tomorrow I have a full day of work again, or my full four hours. Um, which is, if I can stay with this, I would just be so happy. And I want to be productive and do stuff, so. That's good. That, that's what I want to do, at least. Um, yesterday, yesterday, uh, as I had a friend over and everything, I didn't show you what I got in my package. Because I got a package yesterday. I think I told you a little while ago that I did a small order from Simon's Stamp. I was supposed to put it in at Ellen Hudson uh, because I want to buy from there and see if they how they would hang my order and stuff uh, because there is a chance to be able to also put my my links uh, into this i am um, like affiliate links but to do that i need to have tried the store first which i of course understand um, but they didn't have a european version of what i bought and because i bought an electronic device so i got Got my order from Simon's stamp instead. So what I got is this. I got a few other things, so I'm gonna come to them later. But this is what I got. This is a fuse tool. And for if you haven't seen a fuse tool before, here is the kind of slate you get with it. And then there's a description on how to use it inside. But what it is, it is you heat up the tool. So the whole tool will be warm, or not this part, but I think the whole this part will be warm. And it will warm up this little tool. It has two nibs. It has that nib that is there, which has a very pointy end. That is a cutter. And this is a fuser. So basically what you do is you take a plastic sleeve. Um, I've seen many people use the plastic sleeve that I get my stamps in. So I have one here. Like this one of these that you you have your stamps in and then you go over with your fuse tool and you can make pockets and stuff and I have an idea that I want to try I don't know if you will be succeeded but I have an idea on how to make uh, credit card wallets with this technique I think it would be really really fun um, I would I need to make one for myself, so I was thinking about making them with kind of cool closings, which is a hand quilt and stuff like that. Um, so I wanted one of these, and they, you can also use these for like shaker pockets and other things. So it's kind of a craft related stuff. So I got that one. I also, see so I don't drop everything on the floor, almost did anyway also got this I know it's messy here it's a mat and then it has a pocket and this is especially for the fuse uh, so that I will have an area to work on that doesn't burn through so then I can have my mat underneath and then I can have this on top which would be awesome I won't destroy my table or anything um, then I also bought this, which is a sticker sheet for the Dual Bugs uh, Christmas papers. A little while ago I got my order with all of the three different 6x6 papers packs that Dual Bug um, released. And uh, I decided to, that I wanted the stickers also because I've been using the images, cut out the images and put on the inside of the card. So I thought this sticker sheet would be awesome for that also got another pack of these stamp pockets so that I can put my have my stamps in something but also to play around with the fuse I'm not worrying stressing about starting to run out of them 
And for the last little thing, because this wasn't a huge order, it was actually a very small order. I, I even made it smaller so that I didn't have to pay as much postage. Um, but this is the p last part, which is the 6x6 Petite paper pack, which is called Perfectly Played Winter. I really like the lawn fawn papers, but you can do fun stuff with them. You can have them as backgrounds and stuff. And when I saw that they had this kind of teal white, I wanted that one too, because it's perfect for like snow places and stuff. So that is, was my little haul yesterday, that came in the mail yesterday. Um, so hopefully I, I will do stuff with this and have a lot of fun right now. I'm just, I'm just tired. I just want to sleep. And Leia is sitting on a chair and saying, mommy, mommy, listen to me, mommy. I think, I don't know if she wants to cuddle or what she's after. There she is. Look. Here's Leia. Leia. <laughs> she wants to cuddle. Um, but yeah. Good morning guys, I hope you have an awesome day. So, I made a card. Uh, however, I don't know if it's ever gonna see the light of day. It's a lot of like small decisions I took that just don't fit, that makes it all complex. The whole thing is, I I used the Summer System card kit from October, which is a four based card kit, it's a lot of um, deep oranges and browns and stuff and I really really like the color scheme and I really like it however I think one I used the wrong ink on the solid images um, I have another brown and I should use that instead so that would probably be a change I would do um, the idea I want to do I don't have the perfect shape for um, I was using a hexagonal shape and I got too much white space or like kind of an uneven amount of white space so that also so there's there's a few of those things that together kind of make the card not be perfect and I don't know I, I want to see if I can make it perfect if I can't make it perfect I don't know if it will ever would see the day but I did a recording of it anyhow. Uh, right now my back is saying ah. so I am going to I think I'm going to do some stitches and, and watch some something on or listen to an audiobook might listen to an audiobook thing is I my sister kind of recommended a book series for me so I might actually just get that book series because I really like the black magician but I don't like the narrator it's not that it's a terrible narrator, it's just that, I don't know, I'm having a hard time figuring out the characters, they don't differ enough. Uh, when I've been listening to the kind of young adult books, they have been very good at kind of doing different voices for different characters. And this narrator don't really have that much of different voices for different characters. So sometimes you kind of get into who of them said that and, and how and yeah. So I think I'm going to go in and look for the other books instead on Audible and then start my iPad and listen to it. Yeah, that is how I do it. Uh, I think I had this discussion before. Audible, you can't buy books through Aud through the Audible apps. There is a very good reasons for it um, but the the iOS apps you can't buy through because then they have to pay I think it's like 40% um, cost 40% 40, 40 of the um, what they earn have to go to uh, Apple so um, I think so therefore the they are just listening devices the the apps uh, so I'm gonna go online on my computer, gonna buy the um, book and then I'm gonna start listening to it and uh, continue cross-stitching on my duck. So yeah. Well guys, it's time for me to head to bed. I actually have taken the rest of the evening very, very slow. I had a little bit of period when I 
just stared at Facebook. Uh, then I kind of got like the second breathing or I don't know what you say. I think someone of you told me what you say, but um, when you're super tired and then you get a little bunch of extra energy. Uh, so we've actually cleaned off the living room. Look, a foot. You get to see a foot. Uh, so we basically don't have things on the floor anymore and the table isn't a big pile of junk and uh, we even cleared off a little bit in our bookcase here. So uh, finally it's getting a little bit better, getting to look a little bit better in here so we can have guests tomorrow because if his parents comes tomorrow. Um, I have finished off the evening uh, when I got a little bit... We had dinner, chicken and potatoes, uh, then we did, you know, boring things like paying the bills. Don't like paying the bills at the moment, because I'm way behind, but that is how it is sometimes. One day I will be back on track. <gasps> and when it was done, I have been knitting, yeah. This is a very long <laughs> knitting needle. Um, this is a circular needle. And I'm using it to knit a shawl on. This is the second project for this yarn. The first project didn't turn out the way I wanted. So this is what I'm doing. Uh, this is just doing knits, 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 and a couple of um, yarn overs. That makes it a little bit of a uh, kind of a V edge. And basically, uh, I'm doing the garter section, which I think it's called a garter knit when you do it, uh, just knit on every row. And uh, I'm coming up to the end of it. Uh, it's uh, when it is full, I think it's like 243 stitches. Um, and I got, um, let's say, yeah, I got. So Three. Three turns left? It can't be. Five? Yeah, it is. Got three. Three, three back and forth left. So a total of six. Um, back, yeah. Um, six rows, that was the word. Uh, so I have six rows left uh, to do that. And which is a free pattern. Um, turns and then I get to do the edging of the whole thing uh, so that, that is it's exciting it's exciting it looks like I might be able to do it uh, till um, the last of December I'm doing fall into shawls so uh, I want to have this shawl done before the end of December um, my hand isn't bothering me as much. It's still bothering me a little bit, but not as much. So that is good. And yeah. Just taking it easy. It's going to be very nice to crawl to bed now. Because I'm really, really tired. And tomorrow I have a full day again. It's so many days, so many days after each other that it's just crazy. But I'm enjoying it starting to feel better again yeah right now I'm gonna head to bed though so good night sleep tight don't let the bed books bite bye